Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you once again for tuning into our channel. My name is Father Evaristus Abu, and today I present to you the liturgy of the Word. Let us pray. Father in heaven, King of kings and Lord of lords, as we study your word today, grant us the grace to understand what we read, to believe what we understand, and to practice what we preach. Help us, O Lord, that through us, your light will continue to shine in our world. Use us as you use the apostles, the disciples, to spread the good news all over the world. May we become instruments of your love, instruments of peace, instruments of healing to our fellow brothers and sisters. Walk in us, O Lord, and walk through us to make our world a better place. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, I thank you for joining me today, the third day of December 2022. Today is also the Feast of St. Francis Xavier. We pray at this We pray at this liturgy of the word that God will continue to send forth more and more men and women, instruments that will shine its light and reflect its brightness in our world today. Our first reading today comes from the prophet Isaiah chapter 30 verses 19 to 21, 23 to 26. Our responsorial psalm today is taken from Psalm 147, verse 1 to 6, while our gospel passage today comes from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 9, verses 35, down to chapter 10, verses 1, 5, 6 to 8. The first reading. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, Yes, O people in Zion who dwell at Jerusalem, you shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teacher will not hide himself any more. But your eyes shall see your teacher, and your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it. When you turn to the right, or when you turn to the left, and he will give rain for the seed, which, which you sow the ground, and grain, the produce of the ground, which will be rich and plenteous. In that day, your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in open fields, and the oxen and the donkey that will that till the ground will eat salted food, which has been winnowed with shovel and fork. And upon every lofty mountain and every high hill, there will be brooks running with water in that day of the great slaughter. When the towers fall, moreover, the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold as the light of seven days, in the day when the Lord binds up the heart of his people and heals the wounds inflicted by his blow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, Blessed are all those who wait for the Lord. Blessed are all those who wait for the Lord. How blessed, how good to sing psalms to our God. How pleasant to chant fitting praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. Blessed are all those who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He counts out the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Blessed be, blessed are all those who wait for the Lord. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. 
The Lord lifts up the lonely. He casts down the wicked to the ground. Blessed are all who place their trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is our judge. The Lord is our ruler. The Lord is our king. He will save us. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every infirmity. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray, therefore, the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. And he called to him, his twelve disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every infirmity. These twelve Jesus sent out, charging them, Go to the Lordship of the house of Israel and preach as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleansed lepers, cast out demons, you received without pay. Give without pay. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The last line of our Gospel passage today is worth noting. You receive without pay, so give without pay. Jesus called the twelve and is calling every one of us today. The voice of Jesus can be heard from the deep recesses of your heart, telling you, come, come and become a fisher of men. Do good for this person. Help save a life. Give a word of comfort to someone who is suicidal in thought. Helps feed an hungry stomach, a hungry stomach, someone who has not eaten for days. God is speaking to your heart from the depth of your heart. You only need to be quiet to listen to the voice of God calling you every day to do little, little things as his disciple. God cares. He wants to save the world, but he will save the world through human beings. Through you and I, we are instruments in the hands of God. The topic of our reflection today is God cares. In today's gospel passage, Matthew tells us, when Jesus saw the crowd, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd Matthew 9:36 The word compassion is a fusion of two latin words come which means come and passion which means passion or suffering to be compassionate is to literally suffer with someone that is to be able to feel the pain that person is experiencing. As our people would say, compassion is taking medicine for another person's headache. In truth, there is nothing wrong with taking medicine for another person. That is exactly what God did for us by taking our flesh. This is the joy of Christmas. We serve a God 
who is compassionate, a God who suffers with us, a God who can never forget us. Can a woman forget a suckling child? That she would have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even if this may forget, yet I will not forget you, says the Lord. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15. You know, it is one thing to feel pained over someone's plight, but a different thing to lift your hand to solve that person's problem. Most of us stop at the point of compassion. We feel sorry for the person. We even cry, but we fail to help. And in this day and time of modern technology, people would bring out their phones and begin to record your predicament instead of going ahead like that good Samaritan to see how they can proffer solutions to the challenge that you are going through. In today's gospel passage, Jesus went beyond compassion. And that is why he tells us to go beyond compassion. Don't feel sorry for me. Do something for me. Help me. Don't say, hey, yeah, I go go better. Oh. Help me. That's what St. James would say. He said, what, what is the profit that you see an hungry person and then you start say to him, uh, it is well with you. Uh, sorry, we, 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 are, we, are, we are sorry for what you are going through. We understand. We understand. St. James says, do something. Do something. Look for food and give to that hungry soul. Don't just tell him it is well. Jesus went beyond compassion. He saw they suffered from the darkness of ignorance, so he preached to them. Jesus saw that they were sick and possessed of all kinds of demons. He went about healing them. Jesus also saw that he alone could not minister to the millions of people around the world. He started a worldwide movement by calling and commissioning the twelve. One of the excuses we give for not helping people is feeling overwhelmed by the number of people suffering or in need of our help. We often say to ourselves, where do I start? What impact will I even make? Jesus came to save the whole world and he had only 33 years to live on earth. Out of that 33 years, 30 were spent in quiet preparations. You know, after the finding of Jesus in the temple, no one seemed to hear anything about him anymore, but we know that he was at home with Mary and Joseph. Jesus Christ actually finished, started and finished his public ministry for just three years. The good that Jesus Christ started within just three years continues to blossom today. The good you begin today, no matter how small, could snowball into something great. It might even outlive you. Know that even if it is only one person you help, it will mean the whole world to them. I once read a story somewhere. Uh, a man was walking along the beach and he discovered a problem. What was this problem? That the waves and the tides of, this, of the sea had washed the fishes onto the beach. So the fishes were dried there on the bleach, and the man noticed that a lot of these fishes were still alive. All they were struggling for because at this time, it was early in the morning, and the sun was coming out. So he noticed that some of the fishes were struggling to stay alive, struggling to get back into the water again. And if nothing was done, by the time the sun comes, you know that early morning sun, some of, a lot of the fishes would die if the sun meets them still on the beach. And so what did the man do? He started picking them one after the other. Any fish that was, you know, 
still alive, he would throw it back into the water. And he kept doing it. And he kept doing it. He kept doing it. Another man was coming towards, the, towards him, walking in the opposite direction. And this man looked at this guy and laughed at him. Laughed at him. I say, oh God, do you know how many fishes are here? There are more than a million fishes. How many can you save? What's the point? They're all going to die anyway. And the man said to him, the first man, I mean, he said, even if I am not able to save a million fishes today, all I know is that he picked one of them, one of the fishes that was still alive, all I know is that for this one, it makes a million to him. If this fish could talk, this one I'm holding in my hand, if it could talk, it would tell me, thank you. He threw it back into the water and then he continued. Dear friends, get the morale of that story. Even if it is only one person that you help, it will mean the whole world to them. Search your heart. You can hear God calling you. Just as Jesus appointed the twelve, he wants to do something through you. God does not walk in a vacuum. He walks through people. Now, do not underestimate yourself. You can never be too young to be used by God. Never. Remember Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I'm only a youth. And God said, no, don't say you're only a youth. I've called you and you will do what I ask you to do. Don't say, oh, I, I am not educated. You know, you don't have to be educated at all. God can walk through you. You're not too young. You're not too old. You're not too old to be used by God. I mean, you cannot. it can never be too old that you get to a point that you see somebody in need of your help and you can help the person and you will not. No, that is part of the evangelization, to help others, to be Christians. I mean, to just let the light of Christ shine in us and through us. And every one of us is called to do this. In your own unique circumstances, you have a part to play. Like St. Francis Xavier, whom we celebrate today, you too can be God's instrument to extend his care and love to the world. May God bless his words in our heart. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, deepen my faith in your love and care for me. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to specially thank you for keeping this program alive. Your encouragement, I mean your words of encouragement, are what is moving us on despite the sacrifices involved. Ultimately, our prayer is that what you learn in this daily video presentations will have a unique and a lasting impact in your life and make you more and more a candidate for heaven. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you all, both now and forever. Amen. Go forth. Our liturgy of the word is ended. Thanks be to God. Do have a wonderful weekend ahead.